Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens Weights and Tarot, and today I am doing the June 2020 reading. I'm super excited for this reading because my birthday is in the month of June, June 10th to be exact. I am right there smack dab in the middle of Gemini, heck yeah. <laughs> and I will be uh, celebrating my 39th trip around the sun. That's right. I am coming to the end of my third decade here on this earth. That's super exciting and sounds really old actually, but I don't care because I love having birthdays. So <laughs> I decided for uh, this reading for June that I would do a birthday reading for you guys. So it's more like you know, the, the magic of, well, there's a lot of June babies, but kind of like the magic of birthdays in general and uh, kind of what uh, magic June has in store for you guys. So um, I'm looking at a particular spread that um, I found, I don't know, like on Pinterest somewhere during some point. So I don't remember who did it. So if you know maybe whose spread this is, you know, you could just let me know and I'll credit them down below. Um, but the first card will be what to leave behind you know, as I enter my 39th year or as we enter June, a uh, lesson you learned in the past year. And it's good to kind of check in, you know, because June is at that six month mark, you know, so it's now let's go back, you know, to June 2019. You know, what, you know, what is it that we learned in this past year? Uh, the third card is the next thing to learn. So what do we, what do we have to look forward to? Uh, card number four is the theme of the year ahead. And card five and six is uh, something to celebrate and do in the month of June. And card seven is a birthday message from my ancestors to yours. So uh, yeah, let me show you the decks that I'm gonna be um, using for this. So for the first three questions, I'm gonna be using the Star Power Tarot, and this is by Charlie Quintero. Um, and I will, like after I show you all the decks, I'm just gonna pull all the cards first and then we'll actually dive into the reading. So the second deck that I'm gonna be using for more of the theme uh, of this coming year is the Lisa Frank Majors Only deck, which is free. You guys can find this online and like print it up yourself. Uh, then for what we can like do and have fun with, you know, in the month of June, what can we celebrate? I'm actually gonna be using the Rebel Deck Oracle because you know, it's my personality, so. <laughs> and then for the final message, a uh, message from my ancestors to you uh, for the month of June, I'm going to be using my Wally's World Oracle because, well, it's my Oracle deck and I figure the big special message should be coming from the deck that I have the closest bond and connection with. And oh looky, it's Wally Wallito. And I have promised Loki that one day I will make a Loki tarot deck just for him so Wally can have his Oracle and Loki can have his tarot deck. So, all right, without further ado, I'm gonna shuffle these cards and I'm gonna pull them out and then let's look into June's reading. All right, so I have all of the cards here. Like, whoa, it's actually quite a few cards. <laughs> and let's go ahead and dive into the reading. So I'm gonna flip them over now. So the first, take a look at my notes here. Uh, the first question is, what can we leave behind? So what can we leave behind in, um, now that we're in June, 2020, what can we leave behind? Oh, we got the Seven of Wands. So, um, Seven of Wands, you kind of see that like after like the victory, you know, sometimes we have, you know, we have our ups and our downs. And so this is kind of like what to leave behind is, you know, all the, all the petty stuff. Seven of Wands always just seems so petty. It kind of also looks like people are fighting over how to put up a tent together and they're just, you know, it's like people not working well together and kind of like that petty can't work with him or her because of this or that or whatever it's it's kind of it's time to put that pettiness aside and start working more harmoniously with people so maybe drop the ego just a little bit and look at the bigger picture of you know why it's most important that we work together instead of to bicker and pick petty fights with people all right so the lesson that we learned in this past year now that we are at the six month mark oh ten of swords Biggest lesson that we learned is we learned how to let go. 
Um, you know, we, we learned that there are a lot of things that are out of our control. Um, and I think many people, you know, and this is not just talking about like the big thing that's going on, but a lot of different things, you know, that like we can't control, um, you know, the government, we can't control people at our job, we can't control people in our family, we can't even control people in our own household, you know, we can't make people think a certain way or feel a certain way. Um, so it's this, you know, we, we just kind of learned at some point that, you know, it really does us no good, it doesn't really serve us to try and control every aspect of everything um, and to throw a hissy fit about, you know, everything. Yes, we could be upset at things, but we can't let it like consume our whole world, you know? So um, okay, so thing that we learned in the past year then was that, uh, that Ten of Swords, that's really interesting. Okay, the next thing that we have to learn is the Eight of Wands. So here in June, well now, well if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you have summer rapidly approaching and summer is in June. I believe it's the 21st or 22nd. Um, also one of my favorite seasons, by the way. So things are, are rapidly, you know, happening. There's like a huge shift. Uh, whereas if you are in the southern hemisphere it's also a huge shift but it's a shift into the colder months where here it's a shift into the warmer months so whether you're north or south it doesn't really matter it's it's this this quick change into something new so now that we've learned to let things go now expect things to happen more quickly um, and that's that's the message for for June that's interesting as well okay our theme for the year ahead is the hermit well I mean that makes sense uh, we've already had a lot of time to do a lot of thinking and a lot of pondering and a lot of listening to this opinion and that opinion. And, um, but the theme for the year ahead is there are so many people out there with so many opinions. It's time that you listen to what's inside of you um, and not so much of the burp, 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 what's going on in your ear from all different directions. So this is the year of looking within that we have coming up. So that's I like that. <laughs> okay, so what are some things that we could do to celebrate and have fun in the month of June or just things that we could do? Uh, I picked the two cards, those were from the Rebel deck. <laughs> so we have Stop Obsessing, You Are Not the Effing Center of the Universe. And then we have Take a Shot, Don't Take 12, Take One, Okay, Maybe Two, uh, Move On. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this one came up earlier, so that's funny. So something to celebrate and do. Um, so to remember that when we have little problems, myself included, uh, sometimes, you know, now that I, I you know, I'm at home, what seemed like little problems before because I had so many other things occupying my time. Um, now that I have more time to focus on these really like actually non-problems or non-issues, uh, they seem like huge freaking issues to me because I just obsess over them because I see them every day and it's like right there in my face. Uh, and this is just a reminder of, um, okay, those little non-issues, they're still non-issues. You're just like making a mountain out of a molehill, basically. So uh, some fun things to do is stop obsessing. That certainly frees up a lot of energy. Uh, and take a shot, which means to take a chill pill every now and then. Um, you know, I, I know, you know, it's like, well, uh, some people are not working right now. They're like, but I have nothing to do. People have found things to do. Um, and there's always something to do. There's always some thing to attend to. So it's not that people don't have anything to do. Um, and so we tend to put a lot on our, our plate, whether we are physically going to a job or not. Um, and this is the, just take a chill pill. <laughs> just because you're home or, you know, not everybody's home, but just because a lot of people are home doesn't mean that you can now put mass amounts of things on your to-do list just because you're home. You still got to meter things out just as if you uh, had your routine that we had before this whole mess happened. Okay, so the final card, which comes from my Wally's World Oracle. This is the birthday message from my ancestors to you. And oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Uh, the person that took this picture, I believe she called it Grandmother Tree because it really does look like that. And actually, if you look in here, I put Wally sleeping at the base of the tree. So he's just taking a nap. He's just taking a chill. Um, 
Okay, so the message from the ancestors are, and it's funny that's the ancestor tree, uh, with little little Wally here in this massive, massive tree, which is super old in here. You know, he's he's super young. He's just like a little, little teeny kitten here. Um, it's just a reminder that no matter what's going on in the world or how big or how small we think some of our problems are or issues and things like that, to remember like where you are like in terms of timeline, you know, on this plane and the universe um, and really how small, you know, things are compared to the vastness of the millions of years that came before you and the millions of years that will come after you um, and all of the ancestors that came before you and all the people that will come after you um, and all the, you know, animals that have, you know, risen and fallen in the um, you know, empires that have risen and fallen and trees that have grown and they have fallen. Um, there's, you know, it kind of puts things into perspective. So just a reminder that your, your ancestors, the world, the earth is always holding you in a very um, warm embrace, uh, always supporting you. Um, but to remember kind of where you really are uh, in the world, in the universe, in this timeline, um, and put things into perspective and that would allow you to open up to uh, the messages and the feeling of that warm embrace from your ancestors from Mother Gaia. So there you go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this 2020 June reading, my birthday reading. <laughs> um, you know, whether we have celebration or not, I love having birthdays. So anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies next month and next month's reading. Um, but of course, you know, I'm making videos every day. So definitely check that out. Uh, maybe check out Loki's birthday that he had in May or Wally's birthday that he had in March. I, I make little birthday videos for my kittens, you know, because those are my furry babies. Um, but yeah, I will catch you spiritual homies later. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading for me, head over to www.kittenswaitsandtarot.com. Not only does my website have a plethora of readings, but over in my shop, I also have my <gasps> Wally's World Oracle. Um, I have my bracelets that I make. I have my room and body sprays. I have my salves. The Goddess of the Rose salve is everybody's favorite. And I don't know if you can see, but those are my rose bushes back there. That's where I get my roses for my rose salve. So, I mean, they're right there. <laughs> um, and my altar pendants, which seem to be pretty popular since I put them up, you know, um, not that long ago. Uh, but yeah, I have my Travel Witch altar pendants so you can keep your practice close to your heart. Uh, I also have my um, Ancestral altar pendant or my Dia de los Muertos uh, altar pendant so that you can keep uh, those that have departed uh, close to you as well as, you know, enveloping them in your practice as well. Um, and if you want to throw a little love my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. There's lots of like goodies and freebies and live chats and crystal grids and all kinds of stuff. So definitely check it out. All right. So that's it for me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.